I think today might be the day I start this bike up just to see if it'll start up and see if there's any leaks. I can't ride the thing. You might notice that kind of a temporary master link on there. I don't think that's safe. What else? Hmm. I'm going to have to check for spark. Maybe I should do that in the garage here before I move it outside. I think I will. I want to move it outside because this. Uh, it's much nicer out here. It's about five degrees cooler in the garage. I'm going to see if I can actually capture the spark going on on the spark plug there. Let's see what happens. I have both, both spark plugs out right now. They're both grounded. Let's see if I can see in there. Oh, there's spark. Yep, I got spark on both plugs. That's a good sign. I'm going to mix up about two ounces of this to a half a gallon of fresh premium fuel I just bought. Like a little bit more than a half a gallon, but I put a little bit more than two ounces of oil in there. Before I can get started, I forgot that uh, last summer I did a fuel petcock modification to this thing. So I'm going to pull it out and make sure that the epoxy hasn't degraded to a point where it's not usable. I need to check it out. I've had gas sitting in here premix uh, for five, six months now. I'll check it out. Oh, here's my test. Um, I'm not going to take the whole petcock apart, but this, uh, the fuel strainer that goes inside the, the tank was epoxied in, and it looks like it's held up just fine. Um, I took that little poker scribe thing right there and dug into that epoxy, and it's hard as a rock still. So I'm going to make the assumption that the internals in that thing are still good so I can get going and do my startup. Well, that took a little while to rig this setup up, but I think I'm just about there. I have another uh, valve over here so I can shut it off if I need to. One of my trusty Briggs and Stratton units. Turn this guy on to reserve. Gas starts flowing. And turn this guy on. Like so, and it's leaking. To get a new one. Bye-bye. 
Okay. Any fuel coming out of the carburetors, out of the overflows. Just for fun, I brought one of these guys out. You bring it out, have it ready, you won't need it, right? You can see the, uh, the right carburetor has a, uh, a vacuum nipple on it. I'm going to have to shut that off. Be right back. Okay, I just capped off that vacuum nipple on the carburetor. I can't believe I didn't see that before. I never noticed it, but I didn't. I'm glad I did now. Try that again. This thing about 10 years ago. That's its first start. Engine has been rebuilt two times without ever being run. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to bring the camera over here and get a close up of the oil lines and uh, verify that they're pumping oil from the oil pump to the carburetors. Um, I don't see any leak yet. Uh, I was very concerned on this bike, I think I mentioned in my last video or so, about uh, having leaks, a leak at the head gasket because I have a thin copper head gasket in there. But golly gee, how about that? It came to life. I have a snowmobile thermostat in there. That is really cool. That little bit I just ran it, uh, you can see here the oil pump has just started pumping oil on that line. Where is the other line? It's really hard to see, but it's doing the same thing. It's hard to see. Oh, you can see it in there. hasn't got over here just yet it's it's showing up right down here it'll be over here in a minute nice happy days still need to do quite a few things I gotta put tires on this
start smoking now. I don't know. Running the oil pump in premix. I'm not seeing any leaks. This is really good news. Very encouraging. Now I'm going to shut the fuel off and go ahead and drain the carburetors. I think that's a good enough run for this time around. first it's not set right I'll get my instructions well, I'm gonna go ahead and move the bike back to the garage to do the COSO setup um, the shadows are starting to get pretty long I think I'll just head on into the garage Ken's garage how about that what a success story this is so far fantastic See you later. Well, on the way back to the garage, I had a failure. My blue tape master link failed. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to have to step it up to duct tape, I think. I'll go get a piece right now.